Hello. Hello. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Exactly. Okay. Wonderful. I'm so happy. Okay, Babisha. So this is your first lesson. Am I correct? Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. And what made you decide to sign up to this platform? Because uh, I love English language and there is no better way to learn with natives. Le there is no comparison with uh, learning with natives. It's an impeccable way to learn with natives, I can say. Oh, impeccable is a good word. Well done. And uh -huh. you used it in the correct context. Exactly. Good job. Nice. <laughs> okay, Bavisha. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Of course, I would like to tell something about myself. As you know about name, my name is Bhavisha and I am from India. Uh, basically, here I am a student of uh, graduation and my majors are English Lit and History. In my, oh, down right. in my downtime, I like to being out in nature, uh, doing photography, amateurishly and uh, in most of time, I like to read. I am an avid reader. Uh, that's in a nutshell about me. Thanks for listening me so patiently. That was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you used one of my favorite phrases in uh. a nutshell. <laughs> really? Lovely. Yes, I always end my introduction mm -hmm. with in a nutshell because it's a great way to teach that phrase. Mm -hmm. Well done. Very nice, Pavasha. Mm -hmm. Pavisha, very good. Nice. Well done. And I like the way you used avid reader. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hmm. Okay, I can see that I you can also say uh, I am a uh, voracious reader. Yes. Great. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> you have a terrific vocabulary. Exactly. Lovely. Wonderful. All right, Babisha. So, as you know, my name is Catherine. I come from the United Kingdom. I work for a media and communications company. And in my free time, I tutor online mm -hmm. as a way to use my teaching degree. Mm -hmm. When I have time to myself, I love to work in my garden. My grandmother taught me everything I know about gardening. Mm -hmm. And I have what you would call a green thumb. It's a phrase that we use in English for someone that is able to grow plants with great ease and success. Mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time in nature as well. Mm -hmm. Because I have a little boy, his name is Cooper, he is five years old and he loves to go swimming mm -hmm. and spend time with his friends, as you can see mm -hmm. in the little picture. Isn't he beautiful? Exactly. My boy. That is one dog. <laughs> this, this one is mine. Okay. This little beautiful angel is mine. Uh -huh. and these are his friends. Oh, really? Yes. That... And this one is his girlfriend. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's fantabulous. <laughs> fantabulous. Uh huh. <gasps> okay. So, Babisha. That you have selected a daily news article for our lesson today. Uh, of course, Miss. And you know, before that, uh, I'm having one more question. I would like to <gasps> go more deep in green thumb. May you please uh, uh, elaborate oh, a little bit more? Absolutely. It means that you are very good at gardening 
and your plants grow very well. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you could say, she has an unbelievably green thumb. She can grow anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, that's uh, so obvious and clear me. Uh, you elaborate in a very well way. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, and you know, I am having one question for you, uh, dear Kathy. Like, what is the best advice you ever got in your life, and would you mind to share with me, please? The best advice ever received in my life would be from my father mm -hmm. when he told me not to be afraid of failure. Because you can always get up and try again. Mm -hmm. That would be the best advice I have ever received in my life. What about you, Stan? Indeed, indeed, great minds think alike. <laughs> great minds think alike. Yeah. So, if you yeah. ask me the same question, uh, I would say, like, what is the best advice I ever got in my life? You know like uh, uh, to always live in the present moment yolo you only lived once so what are you doing so immerse your hundred uh, percent in that thing don't think about future past cause life exists in present moment so if you live in present moment you are uh, uh, never going to die and you will live like uh, f fully you will are going to enjoy your life fully if you live in the present moment and always life in always exist in present moment so what are you doing just focus on present rather than focusing on what is on past future so cause if you, what you do tomorrow like the fruit will become uh, of today like from like today the fruit will become tomorrow so uh, if you do better today, the fruit will be better tomorrow. Very true. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For example, there's a little expression and we say, you reap what you sow. Indeed. You. Spot on. You heard that expression? Before? Exactly. Spot it's... on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Got some great vocabulary phrases, expressions. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I like my delectation to use. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So, would you like to have a look at the little daily news article? Exactly. One more question. Uh, like, <laughs> what makes you distinct? Uh, like uh, different uh, you from another tutors uh, like I see oh, wow. you are on top of level your rank is top of level oh well thank you very much for that Bavisha mm -hmm. I like to take great pride in my tutoring abilities I am always signing up for uh, classes to better myself as a teacher for training I also like to make sure that my learners enjoy my classes. For example, I will always try and find materials that they would enjoy. Um, and speaking from my experience as a teacher in a physical classroom, I always like to try and gauge my learners' learning progressions and try and incorporate fun activities into every lesson mm -hmm. like games or perhaps a, a little interactive worksheet in addition to the learning material mm -hmm. so yes in a nutshell i would sum it up in that way exactly of uh, course you know that your uh, uh, indeed indeed because uh, i am on my way to becoming uh, like English professor, that is why I am asking this question. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. But this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And tell me, how many 
many years of studying do you have left? Um, uh, how many years study? You can say I'm just 18 now, 18 years old, and uh, I have to uh, keep continue my study around uh, six to seven year more. Oh wow! Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. And how are you finding your studies? Do you find them very challenging during the coronavirus? Uh, you know, first thing first. Uh, like corona like covid 90 comes into my life uh, you can say blessing in disguise in the in this way that come cuz no that makes me independent i don't have to be depend on my uh, professors i have to do my work by myself with the uh, assiduity and diligence So, do you, so you feel that the COVID-19 has provided you with more of an opportunity to learn, to study, to become independent? Exactly. I would like to give example. Just take it. You know, that time I spend to going in college and come, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time, like around one hour and half hour. I usually spend on that. So I don't have to be spending that time on traveling. And even, you know, the questions I have to ask for my pro professor, even, you know, I don't ask that much type of question nowadays due to virtual classes. So I have to be depend on my own resources. So I try to be explore more. I have to read much more than before. So in this way, I'm learning more and exploring more. I would have to agree with you. If there's one thing that COVID-19 has provided, it's time. Mm -hmm. Because we are not traveling as much as we were. We don't like to commute unnecessarily. Many of us are working from home. So now we have a lot more time to either work, study, mm -hmm. or improve ourselves. Indeed. You know, I would like to share a quote with you like there is a not too much busy it's a matter of priorities uh -huh. yes i know that quote well mm -hmm. yes and have you ever heard don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today indeed absolutely uh, have you heard that one exactly that is so obvious, so relevant. Don't put off for tomorrow mm -hmm. what you can do today. Mm -hmm. It's very relevant. Uh, so, you know, uh, I would like to ask you dear, some questions, Catherine, ma'am. You know, no I see like uh, a lot of uh, posters. Uh, would you mind to show me, like, uh, if you show me these type of posters, what type of you have? Sure. So, these posters behind me are for when I tutor little children. Because I tutor little children as well, four, five, six, seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. And they, of course, enjoy color and vibrancy. And that is why I have placed some posters behind me that display vegetables, the weather, animals, the alphabet, sea mm -hmm. animals, etc. It is just a nice background for my younger learners. Exactly. So you mean to say when are you having uh, interaction with the, uh, like a little students, you would like to teach with the help of this uh, like vibrant range of colors posters? Exactly. It's just, it, it is nice for them to look at whilst they enjoy my lesson. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, yes. So, you know, I, I'm going to ask the, some questions to you, uh, like uh, from last, from this article. Okay. One child, right. one mm -hmm. child, one teacher, one book, 
वन पैन कैन चेंज द वर्ल्ड मलाला यूसुफ जाय व्हाट डू यू मेक ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट आई वुड से दैट द स्टेटमेंट इज वेरी पावरफुल इट इज वेरी ट्रू वी कैन यूज द टूल्स दैट वी हैव ऑन हैंड टू इंटरएक्ट with learners and help them learn as much as possible with the tools that we have available to us mm-hmm. what do you think of this statement uh, what do i think of this statement if you ask me this question you know in this way she is telling the importance of intention of doing study like how much is powerful study uh, you can say it is more power- powerful than uh, like ammunition like gun power uh, like one child one teacher one book one pen so it means that uh, there is a not uh, like in looking that is not a powerful thing but you know uh, if they become like correlated like if they work together they can work uh, so uh, f- like awesome they can uh, create something incredible i can say like if one child one teacher it means teacher will guide that ch- child and with the help of pen and a book like a student can create something uh, beyond timeless like timeless creation he can he can do and he can guide the generation uh, of uh, like many many lives he can put to some people lives in a right way i make of this statement in this way so you would say that is what i make of the statement mhm this is what i very, make of this truth this is what i make of this statement i make of the statement it is very true mhm how do you feel about the effect that the corona virus will have on the education of our children because as you know schools are continuously being opened and closed and it has a rather detrimental effect on children's socialization abilities their reasoning abilities their interaction with other children um their social development their learning progressions how do you think children from 2020 and 2021 will fare in future academic years when the corona virus has passed exactly you know means first you have used a word uh, when there is a word come effect on children you have used there is a one word would you like to tell me that one word like particular word one word i didn't catch that word are you referring to social development yeah maybe that one you are saying but now i got it social development is learning how to interact with other people and it's something that i feel they are missing out on because the schools are constantly being closed indeed so if you ask me this question i can say you know they are learning uh, what they can learn virtually and you know about uh, they can learn something every day with the comfort of their home uh, and i can say for this thing something is better than nothing to taking this classes Uh, rather than like just wandering at home and watching movies and doing something uh, frivolity rather than doing frivolity they can uh, like learn something but i can say about cognitive development is zero cognitive development is zero because they are not uh, interacting with their teachers uh in class environment what type of class environment they have to immerse themselves in dels that is not available that's very true absolutely we hmm. would say in english don't look at this horse in the mouth don't and don't be um dissatisfied with an opportunity that presents itself to you or an opportunity that is given to you mhm or a gift that is given to you exactly uh i'm going to ask a second one questions to you if you could study anywhere in the world 
Where would you choose and why? Finland or Norway? Because uh, these Scandinavian countries are known to be the happiest in the world. And I would also love to see the northern lights. And I know that I do not like cold weather, but I would like to experience the severity of the cold weather in these countries just once in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go for those two countries. Exactly. Uh, like, you know, I, likewise you, I really like this country. Like if one person asks me, why do you like these Scandinavian countries? My intention is that, you know, they are like corruption free. They are so happiest. Like yes. they come in the happiest rank in like, a, like first, second, third in this way. And apart from that, uh, I'm also like a big fan of, uh, you can say I am head over heels to uh, watch Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. Exactly. Yes. Wouldn't it be amazing? And I absolutely love mm -hmm. that you brought up the fact that they are corruption free because to me that is such a, a very big deal. It is so important. Mm -hmm. Because corruption causes such devastation in countries. It really does. And to be able to live in a country that is corruption free, mm -hmm. it brings about so many different opportunities that we would not have had otherwise. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. It would be a real opportunity to live in a country that is corruption free and the people are happy and they can see where their tax money is going to, to benefit themselves. Mm -hmm. their lives may you please uh, would you like to elaborate a little bit more uh, correction for you can you can you say it again for me uh, i want to like correction free like that one uh, phrase would you like to mention more i want to know uh, like correction for you corruption 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 okay got it corruption. I, I uh, I Corruption presume uh, another one. Oh, no, Corruption-free countries mm -hmm. are very rare these days. The world is full of corruption, especially now with the pandemic. I think that many governments are using it as an opportunity to gain more power, to be more corrupt, to for self-betterment, it's terrible. Exactly. So, you know, have you been uh, like, uh, I use this one, uh, f uh, like idiom here, like head over heels mm -hmm. to ore rabolis. So that one is right here. Mm -hmm. that's, that, right. That, that's right here to use. Okay. that I used to now is the act or the result of making oneself better mm -hmm. through one's own effort. Exactly. And so, tell me, mm -hmm. uh, you want to ask me something? Exactly. First you were asking, going to ask me, please you ask. I was just going to ask you, Babisha, have you been vaccinated yet? Of course, I have uh, uh, get my like first shot of vaccine, and uh, I'm on my way to getting second one. Right, and how do you feel? I feel about the vaccine. I feel uh, so energized. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you feel empowered? Do you e feel like exactly how you read my mind? I'm going to use that word. <laughs> You are really all incredible one, tutor. Oh, that's lovely to say. Thank you. Yeah. You've just made my whole evening. <laughs> you, Thank you. Even you, like uh, here is a 3 a.m. Now, where I am now, 3 a.m. Oh. oh, it's so late. Mavisha, you should be sleeping. 
no no i have taken my sleep i go to sleep early for this session because wow. i have to wake up early for this session uh, to having a wow. interaction with you that's why i like uh, sleep early and wake up early today oh my goodness i'm so honored mm-hmm. thank you exactly wow, that's amazing you know there is a one uh, uh, like uh, saying you, you are uh, introduction like uh, so i can't uh, resist to book uh, uh, to you at that time like oh. you are say uh, uh, don't delay book today <laughs> yes i forgot that i said that that's right i didn't mm-hmm. say that in my introduction video that's mm-hmm. right <laughs> exactly for this thing i like i have booked my session with you so like uh, why should i have to delay i have to book today i don't have to look up for another day maybe that opportunity come or not will come to interact this interact credible teacher tutor oh thank you for visha that's lovely mm-hmm. exactly and time flies doesn't it time passes quickly yeah like uh, we have like time is a uh, uh, flies away like uh, go away so fast if we say time flies when you want to express that the time is passing very quickly exactly time flies time is flies and practice makes perfect babisha mhm exactly and you know oh. one uh, like one more question uh, uh, where do you have done your like graduation your study and what is most special uh, special thing about uh, where you have done your study is there something special around that uh, university special ah uh, well i studied at both the university of edinburgh and the university of port elizabeth i would say that both universities were quite diverse and different from one another two very different experiences mm, the friends that i gained would be friends for life and we are still friends even today uh and i would also say that the different learning experience were invaluable mm-hmm. especially given the fact that i was able to visit many different schools in different cities and gain a different experience from each and every single one of them mm-hmm. so i would say to me that was the most worthwhile mhm exactly and Pavisha, Mhm. The system is going to be off in about 15 seconds. Mhm. The system is going uh, no uh, no words to describe your way of teaching impeccable easy oh. to grasp. Thank you for this and it's so lovely. Thank bye bye. You.